Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Polisi. I'm the director of minimally invasive surgery here at the Mount Sinai Hospital and Mount Sinai Health System. Here at Mount Sinai, we have pioneered the use of minimally invasive surgery uh, to be used with our patients in the field of urology. Minimally invasive surgery is a way of doing surgery different from the traditional approach, which is really open surgery, uh, where we use a scalpel to enter inside a patient's body. With uh, MIS surgery or minimally invasive surgery, we're using state-of-the-art equipment that allows us to enter the body through very small incisions, usually in half an inch to an inch long, where we can then operate on a patient, allowing the patient to impart the benefits of going through small incisions. We use it for uh, kidney cancers, uh, prostate cancer, bladder cancer, um, and all sorts of other conditions where we have to get inside the body, but want to avoid having a large incision. The fact that we can actually do these procedures through smaller incisions allows a, a quicker recovery for our patient. Uh, the patients generally are in the hospital for a much shorter period of time. There tends to be less scarring because we're doing it, of course, through a much smaller incision. And there tends to be much less pain, so that allows patients to go back to work a little bit earlier, uh, allows them to return back to their normal lives a little bit earlier. Robotic surgery is now being used in every area of urology, including prostate cancer, kidney cancer, bladder cancer. And we at, uh, here at Mount Sinai do many of these procedures in a way that uh, is not being done in other places in the sense that our patients uh, are getting the experts in the field who are publishing in this field and are the thought leaders in this field who are doing the procedures. We do almost 700 prostate cancer surgeries a year um, that allows us, uh, because we have surgeons who are very experienced in this and we have done a lot of these, uh, this allows for better outcomes for our patients and better long-term benefits. Because we are an academic center, we are involved with many clinical trials uh, and a lot of the state-of-the-art equipment that isn't available in many other places. Uh, we are also experimenting with new technologies that just aren't available anywhere else. And so coming here uh, allows you to really get all the benefits, not only of sort of a community care kind of hospital, but also get some of the state-of-the-art and world-renowned expertise from our physicians. Looking into the future, uh, this is one of the hospitals in the world that is at the forefront of technology and the forefront of education and the forefront of academics, and we hope to continue to strive to be the leaders in those areas.